Huntsville Ham Fest 2025. I'm with Jason, Kilo November 4 Mike Uniform Delta. Let's bird look. watt meters, which everyone will recognize a bird watt meter, but these are brand new. That's correct. On the market, That's correct. right? Yeah. Okay, so you've got three different, I think uh, one, two, three different items here, right? That's absolutely correct. So, so the, we're so going to tell, tell, go ahead and tell us all yeah. about Yeah, so the watt meter, red and button, the Model 43. What uh -huh. made the company who we are? Uh, high accuracy, dependability, yeah. into ham shacks. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, the one that's on the table is my personal one that's well over 20 years old. Okay. Still using it today. As a matter of fact, I, one of the reasons why I took the job with Bird is because they give me all this additional test equipment to start <laughs> playing around with. Nice. So I thought my okay. shack was wired tight, but it turns out it is not. Yeah. So, our primary market is not the amateur. We are here right. for public safety. We're here for um, cellular installers, you know, the higher end equipment, people that require a high end precision in their measurements. And that's what we've always been known for. Mm -hmm. So with this, with the slugs in there, based on their frequency, based, based on the power range, under 4% accuracy. And that's when you're actually, you know, you're putting out the legal limit, you want to make sure you're there, that's what that's there for. In the industry, as we move beyond that, we've come up into the digital age. So the first one of the items that we have here is our new 4480A watt meter. So this is two megahertz to one gigahertz, up to 10,000 watts of power, slugless. Wow, it'll, it'll do that much power. Right, so the engineers designed this which makes it hard for the sales guy to come out and sell because it <laughs> does everything. It's a kitchen oh, sink, it's an industrial device. Mm -hmm. But it gives you four power, gives you reverse power at the same time, and then I don't have to worry about slugs, so I just hook it up and go. Mm -hmm. Battery powered, long lasting, it's been running you know, for almost two days now, the battery's still up there and running. Can hook it up to a computer so I can pull down data over a longer period so I can see what the power curves look like for the device. So that is a uh, incredible piece of technology. Now of course, that is just one piece of what we would call our master test kit for, yeah. for an electronics technician. So that would be to tell me whether or not my radio is working. So I go out to the site, I know I've got a problem. This is going to tell me whether it's putting out 50 watts, whether it's putting out 10 watts, what it's supposed to according to which band that it's working on. So then from there, the next question will be, well, is my antenna, is my site working correctly? So this would be our next device down here, which was called our Site Hawk. And that's going to measure anything up to this. This particular device is measuring up to six gigahertz. So mm -hmm. from one, from DC all the way up to six gigahertz. And what I have inside this this uh, uh, transit case is a simulated antenna. Well, actually, it's a real antenna system because I've <laughs> got about 36 feet of LMR 400 in there. Okay. And then with the panel on front, and that is a busted cable. For an LMR 400, does not like to be bent like that. So this is a simulation or a trainer that I would use to go out with the technician. So we're able to okay. see what that SWR curve is on, you know, in this system. Right. So I use this as a training device. But what that's showing me is now with the high precision of, of being able to accurately measure this system, now I can actually see where my connectors are in this. So I've told that this is a 40-foot system, and you'll see that first hump that comes up, and that's where my SWR or my return loss is coming up. Mm -hmm. That's going to be that first connector. And then it's going to go into, I'll see a long peak down at the bottom. That's that constant loop of uh, LMR 400, so I know that that's going to be good. And then up here in this next set of connectors up front is where I'm starting to run into the problem. So I'm seeing a little bit more return loss, and you can see how sensitive it is just just based on me changing out the electrical just, field. It's just yeah, just you, yeah. you moving around it, yeah. Right. But now what I can teach that technician is I can disconnect that, and as it settles back down, we're going to start to see that huge fault. And then based on that, I can actually read the bottom, and that's going to tell me what it, where where's it start about 28 feet. And that would be about the distance oh, yeah. of this, where that is. So now I can actually go out to that system and say, I need to go look at 28 feet. And that's where that got disconnected, the squirrel ate it, you know, you know, <laughs> yeah. somebody hit it with the lawnmower, et right. cetera, et cetera. Right. So that's it there, right there. So now as a technician, I'm out, I've got these, so I've measured my radio, I know my radio's working, I know my antenna's working efficiently, but I'm still having an issue. Would come out to our portable, uh, our signal hawk, which is a handheld spectrum analyzer. So now I can see if I'm being squashed from an external source, if I've got, you know, somebody else is radiating on my frequency, so that's going to be there. Now, there are a lot of spectrum analyzers, there's a lot of, of, of devices that measure spectrum, but this being a calibrated device, I can hook up a calibrated antenna to it, and now I can actually measure the field strength, and that's where that becomes important. It's not just knowing that there's a signal there, but being able to see how much it's radiating, which would tell me how far, and then with that, I can go on the ultimate fox hunt because we have a uh, application in there that now I can actually hook up a directional antenna mm -hmm. and I can measure where that signal's coming from 
triangulate it, and now I can go out to the field. So say, not a Rubicon's out there running his radios illegally, <laughs> somebody that might be a G-man might take a look at this and go, hey, he's right over here on this frequency. So okay. All right. that is our, what we would call like a master kit for an electronics technician across the board on everything that we would need. So once again, not really marketed at the amateur radio yeah. community. There are devices that do each of these at a much lower price point. <laughs> Trust me, I've got them on my bench. I've seen your videos. <laughs> okay. I know all about yep. them. Yep. Yep. But when I've got to sign my name off on the job, when I need that accuracy, that true precision, mm -hmm. this is where Bird comes in. So Some we appreciate really it. Neat so looking we're, devices for sure. Yeah, we're out here celebrating yeah. everything amateur radio. We love it, love the channel. That's great, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time today. Right. Thank you.